Are you the one who is interested in becoming a software engineer but don't have a CS degree? Certainly, software engineers are one of the highest paid professionals. Software engineers are in huge demand. If you are someone who has a different background from CS, here is a summary of how to become a software engineer without a CS degree. Who is a software engineer? Software engineers are skilled IT professionals responsible for designing, creating, and developing computer programs or software. They have an in-depth knowledge of programming languages like Python, C, C++, Java, JavaScript, etc. You get various benefits or perks as a software engineer, such as a high salary, collaborative work, remote work, health insurance, leaves, and many more. Step-by-step -step guide to become a software engineer. Start with getting basic knowledge of the computer. No matter whether you have a CS degree or not, you can become a software engineer. And to become one, you must have basic knowledge of computers. You should know about CPU, RAM, ROM, and its internal and external memory units. When you begin software engineer as a profession, a general idea of working on a computer system is much needed. Kyuki. जब आप जानते हैं कि कोई सिस्टम कैसे काम करता है तभी आप उस पर काम कर सकते हैं वेन यू नो हाउ मेमोरी एलोकेशन एंड वर्किंग ऑन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टेक्स प्लेस आपको एक क्लियर आइडिया मिलता है एंड देन यू कैन एफिशियंटली वर्क ऑन कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम चूजिंग द राइट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन डीड देर इज अ प्लेटर ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस फॉर डिवेलपर्स विच क्रिएट्स कंफ्यूजर अमंग दो प्रोग्रामिंग वर्ल्ड रिसेंटली Some of the popular programming languages are Python, C, C++, Java, JavaScript and more. अब आप पर डिपेंड करता है कि आप किस लैंग्वेज के साथ काम करने में कंफर्टेबल हैं। You can also start with C or any other programming language you feel the best. Choosing a particular language also depends on the domain you choose. For example, if you choose web development, JavaScript or Python would be the best choice. If you choose business development, Java would be the best option. If you choose big data as to your career profession, SQL would be the best choice. And thereafter the domain you choose should be compatible with the programming language you want to work on. Exploring OOPs concepts in your programs. When you can genuinely rate yourself 4 out of 5 in solving coding problems, you should explore OOPs concepts. That allows you to divide a problem into chunks that can be further solved the problem. It is said that when you are not very aware of OOPs concepts, you are not a proficient software engineer. The four basic concepts of OOPs are encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. These concepts apply to all programming languages. And again, it's up to you which one to choose. Solving complex problems using data structures and algorithms now it's time to solve complex problems data structures and algorithms is must if you want to be a software engineer without dsa you cannot get a job in it data structures let you organize data in a particular order so that it can be searched instantly whenever needed and algorithms are a set of procedures to follow one by one for solving a problem some of the concepts that you should study are stack queue linked list heaps tree searching and sorting time and space complexity graph algorithms greedy algorithms and dynamic programming work with dbms after studying dsa you have to work on sql you should know how to handle data while working with the software you can start working on database management system website like facebook twitter and instagram generate lots of data daily this is where data handling is required exploring it when you're done with solving problems be they easy or complex try working on building applications building applications on your own gives you self confidence and you become industry ready also after building applications you can upload them to git from where anyone can track the changes made the repository is made in git help developers collaborate with other developers using git gives you professional experience and makes you industry ready practice as many problems as possible 
Practice makes a human perfect. Practice problems as many as possible. Try to solve challenging and complex problems so that you get proficient in them. When you see a question, try to understand it in layman's term. Break it into blocks and then try solving it step by step. Breaking the question into parts makes it look easy and short and you tend to solve them easily and quickly. If you can take DigiMentor courses, our courses help you to crack the best companies. You can call us at 98218-76104 or install our Android app. How to prepare for an interview to become a software engineer? Even if you don't have a CS degree, it's completely fine. You can still crack interviews with these few basic steps. There are mostly three rounds of interviews conducted for any IT-based company. They are Aptitude in English, Technical Interview and HR Interview Round. The first round of Aptitude in English, MCQs, checks your grammar, problem solving and logic building skills. The second round of Technical mainly comprises a one-on-one -on -one interview, where after a self-introduction, technical questions related to DBMS, OOPS or DSA are asked. The third round consists of HR, where general questions are asked about self-introduction, strengths and weakness. And it is all about checking your confidence level. When you clear one round, then only you are allowed to move forward. Ultimately, when all rounds are clear, you get an offer to join the company. And then you can tag yourself with software engineer. These were the steps you need to follow to become a software engineer without holding a CS degree. There are no boundaries to your dreams as you aspire to dream big. You don't need a CS degree and don't have to spend lakhs of rupees on learning technical terms related to software engineering. You just need a willpower to learn and perform the best. So, work hard, stay determined and turn your dream into reality.